everyone, Kaisha here. Thank you for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Today I'm going to be doing a What You Need to Know Wednesday for Soulmates. So these are just um, general messages for soulmates that Spirit wants to relay. So please don't shoot the messenger. Remember, energy is fluid. This could have happened um, past, present, future. It could have happened already, about to happen, or is happening now. Also, allow the energies to uh, go where they apply. Energy is fluid. So if this resonates with you, or even if it doesn't resonate with you, but I resonate with you as a reader, I encourage you to please share, like, and subscribe. So with that being said, I'm going to jump right in. Oh, also, I am reading with the Energy Oracle Cards by Sandra Ann Taylor, and I'm clarifying with Dreams of Gaia Tarot Deck. Okay, so um, the first card I have is Contract, Upright, clarified by Two of Air, Mother in Reverse, King of Air in Reverse, And perception in reverse. Okay, so you had a legal battle with somebody and you won. It went in your favor. Um, you really had a legal battle with someone. As you can see, there's two scales here. Um, so it's a woman holding a scale and a man holding a scale. I'm feeling strongly that a woman took a man to court. Now you were either in, um, you were in a committed relationship with this person, so you could have been married, you could have been common law, but it was a committed relationship. It was a, a long-term relationship. Uh, this person could have been the father of your children. Or you are the mother of their children. Uh, child support or alimony, divorce, I'm hearing divorce. This person, ew, this person was a hot mess. They weren't a good parent. They weren't a good uh, partner. They didn't really think about the stuff that they did. They didn't think about the consequences of their actions. They would just do shit. I'm hearing that um, Frank Ocean song, Do you not think that far ahead? Because I've been thinking about forever. This person did not think about, they didn't think about the far reaching ripple effect that the things that they did would do. They would just do stuff. I'm feeling a very immature energy. Maybe this person was younger than you. This person was also... Um, okay, so I'm picking up that you two are opposites. And you guys fought a lot because... Um, in some cases, it's opposite to tract, but in your case, it was opposites repel each other. You guys were like black and white, night and day. Yeah, you guys were completely different. And that's why you guys would always clash. You guys just didn't see things the same way. Also, being with this person was like having an, an extra child. Uh, yeah, you had to take care of them because they just were not responsible. They're very reckless, careless. They just did things on a whim. They did not, um, they didn't take on responsibility. Like they left that up to you. Okay, so we have three, pretty much three 
It's three justice or law cards here. We have the contract, two of air, and king of air in reverse. These all talk about some kind of legal issue, um, balancing of scales. So the relationship that you were in with this person was not balanced. I'm feeling someone who had to take on pretty much the whole relationship while the other person just freaking sat on their ass and did jack shit. They, they were just there for the ride. Being with this person was like having a grown child. I keep hearing they did nothing. They did nothing. They weren't nurturing. They weren't protective. You guys didn't create anything together. You've been together for a long time. I'm hearing seven to ten years. And you didn't create anything with this person. You didn't have a solid foundation. You didn't grow anything. You feel like it was a big waste of time. You're also a bit upset with yourself um, because you didn't see these things before. You didn't see these things in this person. This person is also somebody who would do illegal things. And not care about the consequences. I'm feeling someone who would do do stuff, like do stupid shit, and then expect you to take care of it. Like, if anything happened, you were the one who was supposed to fix the problem or solve it. And they, and they would do stupid stuff all the time. Very careless, very reckless. This person also likes to argue. They're very argumentative. And you just decided that you had enough. This person was trying to do things like um, I'm hearing withhold child support, withhold financial help. Uh, also, this person was someone who, when they did have money, they would waste it on stupid stuff. Like you would need groceries and they would go and friggin' buy like a cell phone for themselves when they already had one, but they just wanted the latest one, like a child. Very, very immature. Or a bill would need to be paid and they would go and buy clothes for themselves. This person was also very selfish. They were not one to think about the greater good of the family or the whole or the relationship. They thought about themselves and that is why the scales needed to be balanced. Major, majorly needed to be balanced because they were very imbalanced before. But you got your justice. And you got your justice big time. The three cards here are talking about justice. You got your justice big time. So the outcome went in your favor. This person was a mess. I'm hearing the things that they did, they caused on themselves. Karma. It was karma because they didn't they didn't think far enough ahead. They would do stuff and just think that, okay, well, whatever. They only thought for today. They didn't care about how what they were doing would affect anyone else. They really just, they didn't care. I'm also hearing that this person wasn't mature enough to be in a committed relationship. The things that you were, the expectations that you had in the relationship just went right over this person's head, right? No perception. They didn't, they didn't see those things. I'm seeing somebody in a car, top down, hands up, woo-hoo-hoo-hoo, life is great. 
And then there's a woman sitting at a table with a pile of bills. Worried. How am I going to pay all this? And the man is out just having a good time. Not a care in the world. Yes, it, the relationship was very imbalanced. Yeah, so justice had to be served. It had to be balanced out. And that's what you got. You got a ruling. I'm hearing ruling in your favor. Ruling in your favor. So you got your child support. You got your alimony order. I'm hearing karma. It's their karma for being so careless and taking advantage. This person took advantage of you. They knew that you loved them. They knew that you were responsible. They took advantage of your friggin' sense of responsibility and dependability. They knew that you weren't going to leave shit hanging and make sure there's no food in the fridge or bills are not paid. They knew that that wasn't going to happen with you. They used you for your stability as well. They were like a child. Like a teenager. Yeah, they're just, they're like a teenager. They just did not get certain things. Yeah. And you got tired of that. You got tired of having to be the responsible one in the relationship. You got tired of having to hold the bridge up by yourself. So you let it go and you took their ass to court and you won. Hmm. So presently we have appreciation. Three of air in reverse. King of Fire. Ace of Water. And Child in Reverse. So presently you are... You are in a state of, uh, you appreciate, you appreciate where you are in life now. You appreciate that you got justice with this person from the past. You're grateful for that. And even though things did not work out the way you wanted them to work out, you're still appreciative of the good things that you have in your life now. You're still trying to figure out, though, like, you still don't understand why things went down the way they did in the past. You don't understand. I keep hearing someone saying, why didn't they love me? So you're trying to uh, bring some understanding to just what happened, how it happened, why it happened. And trying to uh, get the lesson you're trying to understand the lesson that you were supposed to learn from what happened to you in the past. Also, you have a new beginning with someone coming into your life. They could already be in your life or they are coming into you have new love coming into your life. Um, so this is a new beginning uh, in in love. Uh, if it's not a person coming into your life, it is a new beginning and you in you doing things that you love. A new beginning in you loving yourself, going after the things that you're passionate about, that you really truly desire for your life. But you also have an um, inner child. You have some inner child wounds that you need to heal. So you wanted to understand why the things, uh, why things happened the way they did in the relationship before, why this person was the way they were with you. It's because you have inner child wounds that you need to address. So when you have wounds from childhood, things like abandonment issues, re issues of rejection, low self-esteem, low self-worth, low confidence, lack of self-love, inner child wounds causes these things. Now, we as energy, we are a vibration and we vibrate at a frequency. So if your vibration is low, because you are you have abandonment issues or rejection issues with rejection and self-worth you're vibrating at a lower frequency so you are going to attract someone like that as well 
And this person may very well mirror to you the things that are going on on the inside. They may mirror to you your vibration. So you may think, oh, I want a person who's like this and does this and has this. But you're really going to get the person that your vibration matches. So you have some work to do on the inside. You have to go back and address some issues, some things that have happened to you as a child so that you you don't continue to attract uh, these type of people or these type of um, experiences into your life. Also, this person that is in your life or that is coming into your life, this new love, they are... They're, they're a good match. This person genuinely cares about you or they will genuinely care about you. This person is passionate. This person is creative. This person is focused. This person is wise. They have learned from the things that have happened to them in their past. This person is about teamwork, working together to build something. This person is about finishing what they start. So they're not going to get into a relationship with you and play games. They want something serious. They want something solid. This person is about building a foundation. This person wants a real commitment. True, solid, deep, connected commitment. Hmm. I'm hearing in order for this person to come in um, the right way, though, you have to heal. You have to heal things inside of you because you you have a new beginning here for you. But you need to get over. You need to go in and heal those issues that you have so that you're not so skeptical. You may be giving this person a hard time because you don't trust anyone because you don't want to be hurt. You may have your defenses up. You may just be, I'm hearing someone saying I'm, it's too good to be true and waiting for the other shoe to drop. You need to go in and heal issues inside of you from childhood so that you're not thinking that way and you're not feeling that way and you're not blocking your blessings. Because this person is coming into your life as a blessing. They're a new beginning in love. They are the complete opposite of what you went through before. They're the complete opposite of this person from the past. But you have to do your inner work. Take a look at the programs in my description box. This will help you with these. These are, um, they have a seven day inner child healing program. These programs are channeled from 5D by Sophia Charles. I've done them. I continue to do them. I had a lot of healing, inner child healing to do myself so that I could move forward in my life. So I know that they work for a fact. Please take a look at these programs. They can help you to do this healing. Because you have a new beginning here for you in love and you may be blocking it or delaying it because of issues that need to be resolved with inside inside of yourself your heart i'm hearing your heart you may still be feeling a little bit heartbroken about the past um, i'm actually feeling anger and resentment you still have some anger and resentment towards this person in the past wow i'm hearing someone saying i'm still not getting my child support i'm still not getting my alimony Also, I'm feeling someone who doesn't feel worthy. You don't feel like you are ready for a relationship or you don't feel like you are good enough. You need to work on your self-esteem and your confidence because you are. You absolutely are. There is a new beginning in love for you here. And you need to do some healing so that you're not blocking it. 
Okay, so in the future, along with guidance from spirit, we have envy. Six of air. King of earth in reverse. Eleven of air. And thinking. Okay. Okay, so first off, this person was a soulmate. But you have many soulmates. Right? You have... um soulmates the good soulmates you have um karmic soulmates that are there to teach you a lesson you have um twin flames your divine counterpart you have all different types of soulmates a friend could be a soulmate this person was a soulmate but this person was the soulmate that was to teach you they came into your life to teach you some stuff that you needed to learn learn about yourself right they were here to trigger you to go back go back and heal yourself right that's why you got inner child a child in reverse they triggered you to go inside to figure out why the fuck this stuff happened how i got myself into this situation that's what you're thinking and they triggered that so you can figure it out you can understand you can learn right like and life is about lessons and learning life is about learning and this person came into your life to teach you and you learned, you learned. You may be in the process of still trying to understand certain things, but you will get there. In the future, you get it. Clear as day, you get it. This person is going to try to come back in. This person is very jealous and envious of you. This person doesn't want to see you. Uh, this person from your past, so this is your ex that you took to court and you won. This person doesn't want to see you with anybody else. They don't want to see you happy. This person is the exact opposite. They are the exact opposite of the new love that you have coming into your life or the, the, the new love that you have in your life now. If you see, this is the king of earth in reverse. This person is, um, they have a lot of emotional baggage. This person is irresponsible. This person is broke. This person does the minimum amount of work. So... <laughs> They just try to skate by, skate through. They're doing the least amount of work. That's why they're broke, because they won't work hard for stuff. This person is very insecure. This person is easily swayed. So they just let people tell them what to do with their lives. They have no solid plan for their life. They're just kind of blowing. I'm seeing a paper, um, a plastic bag just blowing back and forth in the wind. This person has no plan for their life. You are being asked and you will be. So you are being as strongly advised by spirit to keep doing this. Because in the future, this person is going to come back with some bullshit. Wanting to get back with you or wanting to have some form of communication. Let's be friends. I'm hearing someone saying, let's be friends. But you see, do you see the expression on this woman's face? She, no. Okay, she's giving this this guy Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> Stone Cold Steve Austin look like, no, no. We are not talking. We do not need to be communicating. We are definitely not getting back together. I heard, I'm hearing someone saying, over my dead body. We will not be getting together. I'd rather be single. I'm hearing someone saying, I'd rather be single than be with you. Yeah. You, you have been illuminated. You see the light with this person. You see this person for who they are. And it took you a long time. Because for a long time, you were clouded by your emotions, but you're not anymore. You're using your logic. You know better now with this person. You learned. You learned. You know better. And you are, um, you are seeing... You're seeing the truth of things. So it's like you're taking the, the, the fiction and you're separating fiction from nonfiction. Yes. Separating fiction from nonfiction. You know what this person's about. This person is, they are a liar. They're not honest. 
They're not dependable. You cannot trust them. And they're only coming around because they're jealous of you and they're envious and they want what you have. This person's watching you. They're watching you. I'm feeling someone who's who's upset because somebody's moved on. Or even if they're not moved on, they're upset because somebody's happy with their life. That's not the type of person that you want to... I'm not giving any advice. I'm just... You know, I'm, this is my own opinion. My opinion, I personally would not be with somebody like that. But you, you won't be. You're not. You see this. You're also... Spirit is also asking you to pay attention to your feelings around this person. If you get a bad feeling around this person, trust it. Use your intuition around this person. Trust how you feel. If you go around this person and all of a sudden you feel shitty, there's a reason for that. This person is not clear-minded. They're, they're like, um, they don't have good judgment. They don't think clearly about things. They haven't really changed much. They have not matured much from the past. They're still on the same bullshit. The only difference is they don't have you. They don't have you in their life to take care of them, to fucking solve their problems. This person is broke. They're not doing well. They're not doing well because they don't have a plan for their life. They just kind of like fly by night, whatever, whatever happens. I'm feeling someone who's very worried, very stressed out about money. This person has a lot of money problems right too many bills and not enough money to cover them and they're looking at you and they're seeing that you're appreciative they're seeing that you're doing well so they want to come back around i keep so you soulmates i keep getting this the ex keeps coming back this ex <laughs> keeps coming back like they just keep showing up in your readings But you're being, you've wised up. Like, you know what's up already. You're not even having it. You know better. You know better. I just keep hearing, you know better. Spirit said, said to tell you, you know better. You've learned from what happened in the past. You don't need to weigh the pros and the cons. You don't need to do any type of investigating about stuff. This is done. You already know what's up with this person and you're keeping it fucking moving. This person is not, they're not right, man. They're not right in their head. They're not right in their head. They're not clear mind. I'm hearing mental issues, actually. This person has a mental issue. Yeah. <sighs> They have a mental issue when it comes from it, all the emotional baggage. This person also has inner child issues that they need to deal with. Some serious inner child um, trauma that they need to deal with because it, it's messing with their head. Because they don't think that the things that they do is wrong. They don't think that the way they think is wrong. I'm feeling someone who thinks, who feels like you owe them. This person thinks you owe them. You owe them you. And it, it's because you you guys are soulmates. You guys have may have been married in a past life. Yeah. You guys were married in a past life. So this person feels entitled to you. Like you can't be with anybody else. You belong to me. And I can treat you any way that I want. You can't go anywhere. But motherfucker it doesn't work like that it doesn't work like that and you're gonna let them know because this person's coming back around but you're gonna set them straight you're gonna set them straight and let them know that you're not entertaining you're not playing no games you're not into nothing with them you're right straight face you're gonna give them the straight face they're gonna come back with their lies and you're going to give them the straight face. <laughs> it's like no expression. Like, okay. Bye. Boy, bye. Yeah. 
Okay, well, <laughs> that's what I have for you. Okay, I'm hearing to tell you this person is going to try to play on your emotions. Um, they may try to use the kids. Oh, we have kids together. We should be together. I'm hearing someone saying, I don't want a next man looking after my kids. Well, you lost that opportunity, buddy. <laughs> you lost that when you decided to be a fool. Because this person that you have in your life, this person from the past in reverse, they're not on the new person's level, not even close, right? The person you have in your life, the person you have coming into your life, they're a real king. This person from the past is a wannabe king. They're a wannabe. In their mind, they think they are, but in reality, no. Not even close. Not even close. But you know what to do. Because you know better now. You learned the lesson. You just keep doing your healing. Keep doing your healing so that you can have a new beginning in love. A new beginning for yourself. Focus on yourself. But uh, this person is coming back around. They're coming back around. Same shit. It's just the same shit. You know what to do though. Okay. So with that being said, I'm going to wrap this up. You have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, and night, and I will catch you on the flip side. Also, if you would like a personal reading or you're looking for a spiritual counselor to help you um, or walk you through the programs or just someone to talk to, I am here to serve. I will help you in any way that I can. Please take a look at the information in my description box and uh, we can get in touch with each other and we can make that happen. So you have yourself a fantastic morning, noon or night and I will catch you on the flip side. Bye.